or I'm sorry, uh, Glassboro. Somewhere, somewhere in that area. A Palatina and an Inkling. Okay. You take those. All right. Whew. Are we going into game one? They're going to Pokemon Stadium. You know, I don't think we have either of these kind of characters at our club. <laughs> uh, well, I know uh, Klee isn't playing Palu. Yeah, and I know we we played against Ethic a couple of times. Who was for a little while playing Palu? Um, actually, still no, he's, I think he's playing Palu now, but he was playing Ike for a little bit. Uh, Hong is doing a bunch of aerials trying to get some damage in, but and Getty it, it, up there. Oh my god, the song. The pole dancing. Yeah, Smegledorf is just showing dominance for sure. I mean, if he doesn't get juggled, yeah, he, he got out of that pretty quick. Honestly, with only 50%, he like Honk lost an entire stock to juggling like that. Yeah, I mean, he also he also stock to a, a jump. Now, all these two frames, two wire. Uh, there's already been three. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> What is this? Amazing. But like for a while, he was kind of just throwing these empty aerials. Yeah. And Smegador was kind of just like, um, he wasn't doing any like unnecessary movements. Kind of just waiting for uh, Honk to approach him first. But now, now that their stocks are back even, uh, Smegador is going in a little bit more. But you see, uh, he's still just kind of waiting. Honk's kind of just hitting on shield. Yeah. He's not too careful. Uh, Smegador is going to keep control of all this. I think it's still here for you. Oh yeah. He's hungry for these two frames, both of them. Yeah, well, I mean, hey, if you're good at it, go for it, yeah. I mean, theoretically, you should get that every single time if you're Ooh, a god. Nice that was an amazing tag. That was a nice tag. Good uppy, too, after that. Oh, nice. Good coverage. What is well, How I are these people in Buster Bracket? <laughs> it just, it, it happened, you know? I mean, you, you get a killer, an absolute killer, and then losers. Yeah. You know? This is looking pretty even, honestly, I gotta say. If good. you can close out the second stock here. Oof, there it is. I don't know what it is. Something sounds different. Like, you can hear the clicking stick, so you can... I'm not sure what it is. Oh, well. Nair chains? Yeah, all those nairs. It's damage. Kong has to probably watch I, he's, some point in there. I think he's got to watch his SDI. I don't think he actually is SDI. You can literally hear it, and I'm not hearing it. <laughs> He's, uh, if you're gonna hit that that fair on shield, you gotta act a little faster. Sure. I definitely wouldn't. Um, Traveler's is a little more safe, I think, actually. Yeah. But uh, Inkling, although their aerials are fairly privileged, they're not unsafe. They're they're not rather safe on everything. Mm -hmm. It seems like uh, Smeggles doing everything he can to to burn Honk's jump off stage, so he could probably go down for uh, down there if he's that greedy. Looks like he's in playing relatively safe because he hasn't done anything too crazy like that. Yeah. But I mean, I still wouldn't put it past him, you know? True. And then you got a uh, hunk. Yeah. Going for the, the edge guard, right? Forcing the. Uh, he's not forcing he's really looking one. for these up yeah, smashes. He is. Ink management. There it uh, is. Wow. Wow. Wait, wait. Let's go. <laughs> game one's going this You way. know, that was a fairly close game one. I gotta say, that was actually pretty good. Yeah. Game one going to I don't even know who's who. Smeggle? Yeah, Smeggle. Uh, Smeggle, yeah. Smeggle left Sm the right. Smeagle. I wonder how many people call it Smeggle when it actually is Smeagledorf. Is it really Smeagle? It's Smeagledorf. Oh. It's not. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a, this, this is just a tag that gives people dyslexia. Yeah. It's a. It's like one of those things where if you have a, a tag that like people say wrong all the time, you either get used to saying it wrong correct everybody or change it. Those are your three options, basically. It's like band names that like that some band names change their names because people keep saying them wrong. Yeah. Like there was this uh, local band uh, in our region. Or no, it was like near Trenton, New York. They were called Selco. You could pronounce it Selcal because it was spelled like cow. So. But back to the action. Going to game two, uh, taking this over to Smash. More nairs. Yeah, Hulk just keeps falling right into those. I don't know if he's DIing in or just uh, saving his jump. Or, or I feel he like yeah, he's probably jump. more saving his jump. But I, I'm surprised he hasn't started SDI. I wonder if he's aware of the fact that he can. I mean, I'm, also I'm I know sure. I know SDI has generally been nerfed in this game. Actually, yeah, I don't honestly don't do a lot of myself. That was either. clean. Yeah. I'm honestly kind of surprised that last hit of uh, up air didn't kill. 
even though I know it's a little early, but late wait. Like how good Paul Tan is down here in this game. Yeah, from the bottom to the top, honestly. Or not top, but like high here. I'm just really cautious. I mean, it doesn't seem like um, Smeagladorf is going out for it too. Like, they're not going lane out for it. Is that a kill? Right. Ooh, it's not. You know, I think I understand why he's so hungry for these down tilts too, because it's not like Paolo has many trap options. Yeah. But Pop has got a lot of keep away tools. So it's like, it's a honk. he just can't approach for free. True. And, and that back air is looking safe on shield. Because too. of that, when he does get a, a moment in, uh, Smeagledorf is just kind of just blocking it and like punish up the grab or like the aerial. Ooh, that was. Definitely should have punished that. But did the just kill? Is that a thing? Oh, come on. They must, they know each, they must know each other and talk three times like that. Yeah, probably. Nah, that is a very poor taste. We're a family-friendly tournament here. We don't talk. <laughs> That's some Smash 4 stuff. Maybe then we'll do it. Oh, God. Well, that was real close. I don't know if you saw that. actually clanked. Yeah, if that if that hit, definitely would have taken the stop. I, I think it clanked. I saw I saw a little circle there. But uh, it might have been the, the magnet hands, honestly. Don't think it back. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, because uh, the hitboxes on England's up are only at the, uh, the landing and the, the launch. That's where Pablo is blocked with all these air jump, um, jump leads and up air. Good dash attack, trample mechanic. Honk can't let Smeagledorf uh, control the space as much as he is right now. It's keeping him on disadvantage a lot. Not to mention he's not doing a very good job conserving his aim. But that's still he's had to recharge too much, but definitely he's like... He's got to get on stage and actually take stage control. There he is. He needed that pretty badly. 100% down. I mean, I feel like he can still bring it back because he's not in too terrible of a position. And Ingrid can wrap up damage with nothing. Mm -hmm. Nice baiting out that air dodge. Is it okay? Is it off of it? Uh-oh. Not quite. Although the DI wasn't there on that one. Oh, try, I guess he was trying to read that roll, but he didn't space. He I didn't guess, uh, run enough. He yeah. did read the roll. It's mm -hmm. just that he uh, spaced. Let's see. Unfortunate for Smeagledor, but I mean dash attack works. So it kills on the upper blast zone. What is this game? Yeah. Right now I, I'm noticing that Honk is uh, doing jump get up a whole lot, but uh, Smeagledor is still trying to cover like get up options, like Air roll chains. and neutral get up. I'm surprised the uh, the platform actually got him out. Ooh, good parry. Honk is gonna. Uh, he's having considerable in my uh, on his shield runs. Uh oh. That might be it. Let's see. Nah, that's not it. He's at 40. But. Yeah. I know what I mean. I was, I was, He's low on ink. Yeah. yeah. And now Uppy doesn't actually take up that much ink, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, so it's just aggressive. It's I think. Punishment. I think Uppy. It's basically oh like that actually almost. Oh my goodness. Up. What is this? He's doing a lot of empty jumps. Good. Good option choice in a uh, dash attack there. Kuzi. The uh, trample mechanic. He did big flank. No, he's down. out of ink. Uh, he'll, he'll, be, he'll, he'll, he'll be able to come back. No. But side B definitely nerfed because of it. Definitely not. Right. Game two's going to Smeagol. Yeah. Looking pretty good so far, gotta say. He's only got one more game to win. Now, is that a reset if he wins, or is it... That's a good question. That's a good question. That is a reset if he wins this next game. Mm. I'm wondering what kind of stage this is going to see here. Me too. I'm half expecting a character switch out of uh, Honk. I don't know if he has any sides, though. Uh... I don't think so. Maybe. He's thinking. He probably has some pocket he's thinking about pulling out. Nah, it's gonna stick nope. to, to Inkling. Yellow Inkling. That's the, the hero Inkling, the one from the story mode. Yeah. I think. The crossing guard Inkling. Going on to game three. Oh. Seems like it was starting back up early game. 12? <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize this is so little. It seemed like a lot. 
it, it looked better than it was. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it did look pretty good. Yeah, I don't know how much damage Nier does. I imagine not too much, it'd be hard to see the link like three Nier's together like that. Yeah. Oh. Good spacing on the spares too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kong, uh, Trample mechanic, let's go. Yeah, Hong needs to take advantage of the, the offensive pressure he can apply with the you know, wall space bears. Yeah, I was gonna say he's fishing for it off air here. Yeah, 117. Uh, any missed aerial, this man can get under him. In time, he definitely will take that stock. Probably. Actually, I'm not gonna say that. Probably. Probably will take the stock. Might. <laughs> oh, back throw? Really? Almost killed mid stage. I mean, it would have killed poor DI. I mean, uh, 100 and something percent. I feel like uh, actually, at, no, at this point, even a grounded uh, explosive flame will kill. My tripping or does not back seem like it's changed again? I don't think it's changed. Seems that a little bad. different. Maybe we're I just, think maybe just, just getting used to the new one. Yeah, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. That's a kill. Yeah. Wow. Is it me? Is it is I mean, it only kills at, like, 160, but even then, like, it's... He's been getting a lot of these grabs off. I feel like, uh, Punk's gotta work on his spacing and, uh, make sure his aerial's not so unsafe on shield. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, it's only 30, but it just looks so bad. Yeah, it does. It, like... That has to be taking a toll on his, uh, his motivation here, like, his, yeah. his momentum especially. Smeagol, he's just spacing really yeah, he's well. Just so walling just like, out. Wherever Hong is trying to run, he's just he's catching him, snaring him. This is looking pretty candidly like a bracket reset, but you know what? We can't speak yet. Yeah. Let's see what happens. He's only one stock down. There it is. Alright, two and two. 80% is doable, I think. Mm, but if he gets ooh, I was gonna say, if he gets red, if he gets his jump red again, that's it. Only hitting yeah. the first hit of up air there. Alright, as long as he can keep this momentum going, keep control of the stage, keep catching uh, Smeagol's landings. A60, 70? Uh, yeah. What is this coming back? Oh no, I would definitely avoid going out that deep when he has this good hey, stage I mean, control. If he's got that kind of momentum going for him, why not? Take the stock. Yeah, Go. but like if he messes it up though, it's like. Giving up stage control is important. But at the same time, yeah. it's a risk versus reward, always. Yeah, I don't. I think it's more risk reward in this case, though, especially just how strongly Smeagol is keeping stage control. That may well be to true. To give it back a little too easily might not benefit him in the long run. Like it might not be worth the, the risk to go out for it. And you can see out there, he lost her the first time. He's staying right back on stage. Hopefully, Smash is a game of constant rock paper scissors. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if your opponent keeps choosing scissors, even if it's a reward higher than if he chose rock. You know, you, you gotta counter him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's losing out some of his challenges. So, yeah. Now, I don't think he's in uh, up throw, up air, kill percent at this point. So, it's gonna be a tough challenge for Hong to try to close out the stock. Uh, oh. Almost okay. got pineapple. He's living. Yeah. I'm honestly not sure what other moves he has in kills. Like if he, you know, uh, well he's got to stop. Seen it all. He's he got to stop. Got a single uh, brush roller. Yeah, he hasn't done it once. That's true. And since he's not applying any of that ground pressure on Smeagol, he's kind of just like doing those jump aerials. And and, and Smeagol's jumping with them, and his arrow beats it out because it covers the whole like 360. Like that would have been a good opportunity after the end lag of explosive plant. Yeah. Oh, nice. That might do it. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if he's just keeping it in store for either the stock or next game. Well, or... I mean, he's got to. No, I don't. I don't think he's, he's doing it for the long run. I the don't think he's there. Uh, he's got to be okay. careful with the jumps. Hollow is just Punk covering, is, covering Punk the air. Punk has definitely got a condition to not expect the the roller right now. So if yeah. he's just pocket. Oh god, oh, that wow. killed. Yeah. I think that might have been sus di. I, but I, in any case, that is definitely a reset. Yeah, I don't think Punk should be challenging him in the air as much as he did. I kind of agree. Palo's got more range. Mm -hmm. He's got good, like, he's, um, I think he should be focusing his tools. I mean, not a, yeah, not no a coaching. angry main, but I think uh, he should be focusing his tools on conditioning Palo to stop jumping the air so much. Like, he's got the ink, right? 
So at a distance uh, that covers jumps. Um, definitely stop challenging aerials. Because it's not working out in his favor at all. Forza, if, if he is, I would He's got to figure out some way to keep Paulo grounded. So that way he can start using some of his, his tools there. Alternatively, he could also just rush in. He's in like, like, And Paulo's trying to space him out this whole time. If he can break that barrier, you, yeah. you'll be fine. There's the character pick I was kind of waiting on, honestly. Let's see. I haven't seen he's just seen us. I can't. Don't know if it's a better choice or not. I think it, fundamentally... It's spacing you out. Yeah, it, it's... It, the logic behind the switch, I think, is there. Yeah, but it does... does, does, a, does it also a, forces... a fair beat out... A beat out a... Oh. It also forces uh, Smeek Lidorf to reconsider his conditioning. Yeah, but... If, he, uh, if he's still hitting on shield like he is now, uh, it's not going to work out too well. Now, Lucina, I think, is more safe on shield than anything, honestly. I agree. Well, the disjoint helps a lot. Sort of. I sort of agree, because Inkling's bear, like spaced out, is real good, real safe. But in general, I think most of Lucina's kit does space out better than than Inkling's kit. I agree with that. Uh, oh, very. Interesting. Ooh, it's about that. He's got to start reading these air dodges after a while, I think, because he's having trouble with juggling. Yeah. Good micro spacing. You have this many tools at your disposal. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Getting you a go. little greedy there. Yeah, he's, getting, he's getting more confident. He's, he's had good control, and now that it's, it's a bracket reset, and 125 in there could have done it. Well, like, it just cost him, what, 30% for that? Yeah, the only issue is, like, well, I mean, not, not an issue. The oh. thing is, he's not having too much trouble with regaining the station tool. So he's Double had two less frames. of this. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I hate two frames, though. He's trying to two frame with F smash. That was not. I think that was fairly forced but it was fair. But luckily, I looked like he was trying to advance with the reverse nair too. I'm not sure what was going on there. It might have been a misapplied. I don't know when uh the, I'm, the double nair, the hitbox are both in front, right? What's that? Yeah, yeah they're both in front. Yeah, they're both in front. Although I think there was a mild backwards hitbox, but like not comparable and not. Yeah, but like the hip, this hitbox started in front, right? It's not yes. like from a back to front kind of deal. Ooh. I know that wouldn't have killed, but it wouldn't have died. There it is. Okay, 65% is much easier to make up. But as long as he keeps, every time he lands on his platform, he approaches right in and jump. And single is really every time. See? True. We'll see what at kind of adaption point, yeah, we're going to see at this point. Gonna have to, uh, Ooh, miss good attack. bar. Yeah. That was attack the cancel bar, I'm thinking, because he was doing that from a standing position. Beautiful. So good. Keep the juggle. Uh, F smash was not removed. That was a good space for him. Yep. I think he, uh, he DI'd so that uh, Nair would knock him backwards, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Smeg didn't see it coming. He's certainly bringing back distance here. Yeah. If, uh, so it seems like Smeagol is doing uh, neutral get a whole lot. Uh oh. If Hon can read that and then go for that that shield popper, or whatever the official name of it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Neutral beat. Yeah, it's uh, neutral actually, beat. Uh, so in Melee it was called Dragon Slayer, but I think it's actually just called Shield Breaker in uh, Ultimate. Yeah. I think Dragon Slayer is a name that was exclusive just to one. I don't know. Dragon Slayer is uh, basically changed over to his F Smash at this point. Oh, right, yeah! That's true, I remember now. Yeah. It was a different move. Because uh, he had his same motion there, for his neutral beat. It's closer to think? Yeah, a little bit. But Roy's is a Russian. Yeah. Or, or yeah. Alright, now Honk's starting to start trying to challenge with his own uh -oh. arrows. Ah, uh, but no. No mas. Read the jump again. Game one. Kudos for the, the pick. I think if he holds it more like he did for that last stock, then he could. This is game, uh, it's game four, two. but it's 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 a reset. Okay. This, so this is game two. This upcoming game two. Yeah. Let's see. What's 
What's going on? What's going on? Oh, oops. Wrong thing? Hmm. Hmm. I just realized. We should have switched this a while ago. No, that always seems to always seem No, it's we're trying to change it to a... Uh... Oh, term a name? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's the other... It's on the dock. No, go to Smash Bros. Dream. Smash Bros. That one, yeah. Ah, uh, that's right. Then I guess... Eh, yeah, I wouldn't even worry about it now. We'll fix it in post. How about that? Taking the FD, keeping the neutral game a bit more simple. Now, I don't think I agree with this though, because um, it means that Palo has more options, more like room to space out. Yeah, but I think without the platforms, uh, finally something fresh, but yeah. not connecting. Without the platforms, it's, uh, I think it makes it a little bit easier for Smiggle to try to land, because uh, uh, Palo doesn't have the ability to cover as much aerospace with those added platforms for the True. It's gonna be key here, like, like that. He's gotta really take advantage of that there. Like that, see? That's good, that's good. I wonder if he didn't use a grenade to cover uh, get up options because his aim was relatively low. He hasn't been doing any um, like out of shield aerials. Pop and fire land scenario. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's giving Smeagol a little bit too much time to react. Also, kudos, Smeagol hasn't missed any techs that I've seen so far. That's good. Oh, nice. Ooh. Right that jump. Clutch bear. Yeah. Harry's? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure he was going to do anything off of it. Odd, a little bit of an odd punish, but you know what? 10% is 10%. That's alright. Oh. Uh, See, I don't understand why he went off stage there. He was trying to read the jump into bear, but the pilot covered high, so it didn't really do it. There it is. There it is. See, I was looking for that all last go. time. Last the epiphany uh, has been reached. Yeah. Definitely, because it's got a hitbox on it, so I mean, like, you can use it in the air, probably. Actually, you know, I haven't. I don't, it, don't, it doesn't have a hitbox until it hits the ground, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. But he should still only save it for uh, Ghost and Heroes, honestly. He's gotta land farther away from the Smeagol. Okay. Getting a little more momentum. Stay on stage. <laughs> nope. Uh, oh, the SD! Yeah. This could be Hawk's break. Oh, let's see. Alright. Oh, the f ooh, almost got to count that two frame. Oh, whipping the F-tilt, uh, even game. Uh, to go whipping the, the second Just, grab. Yeah. I challenge the Mariels. He's trying to put these uh, back airs out. They're just barely not coming out. Yeah, because of how long the air lasts. Oh my goodness! A little bit sus on the DI, I think, but yeah. in any case, we take those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be a six and zero. Oh. See, oh, poor, poor man. This is a slaughter. I think that was the first time he got uh, Smeagol to uh, one stock. Ah, right back. I missed the stage pick, I think. Ah, uh, they went to Battlefield. Uh, I think that's going to be better for him, honestly. Uh, Bronx going to have to take the game. Palu, Palu doesn't appreciate... I just, uh, I wouldn't... Personally, I wouldn't give a stage to Palu. I don't like it. Why? He might like it. I, because I don't like the... Um, the, the platform gives you additional uh, places to land. But it's not like, like... It's not like his Palu was covering, like, the ground in the first place. He didn't really need all those landing options. I feel like just the platform just, for me, it just seems like it extends Hollow's arrow range 
So you can kill even higher up in the blast zone because if you jump higher, it's the blast zone. True, but also the blast zones are much bigger than uh, on others. Yeah, but there's also more opportunities for um, for missed techs. And if, if Apollo can use that to her advantage. Yeah, I remember that uh, yeah. down throw to roar back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was on Kalos, right? Ooh. Uh, just misled. We take those. Where did 36 come from? Yeah, like one up air off. Uh, up air is, is. It's like Inkling's Ding Dong. Really? Yeah. At Sam I think Oh, they're... yeah, up throw up air right now. Yeah. Ooh, but like that fair did a lot of damage too. It's gotta watch some jumps. It's gonna. What's see, happening here? We're going to see what Hong does next. We're going to see if those kind of keeping him away. Nice like platform pressure is pretty tough. Ooh. Okay. Hard reads. I heard the mash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm like, this is the way mash it could have been bad. Okay, somebody got grabbed. Is that uh, Why was I using side to, to, like, to get that horizontal momentum to come back on the stage? Ooh, nice. Nice. Like that roll. Traps. I wonder why I said the grenade off stage though, because it's uh, not like it's a cover wall. Because like it, it either, either cover the jump or it'll like it'll have a hitbox. It, does on it land. contact blow up? Uh no. Mm, yes. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think when it's faster, it's on contact. I'm not sure if it like on default. I see. Okay. Cannot answer a call. Lack of talk to my play experience. Talk to my I played Inkling a lot when you first came over. Do you think Inkling is top or high tier? I think high. A good Inkling? If not top, like the top of high, you know? Yeah. Uh oh. Is that racket damage against the Veneers? Uh, it looks like uh, the platforms are coming into Hawks and Vintage. It's finally easier time to. Get around. There's, there's less bit. room for Palu to space out and run away. If she just throws out an explosive flame, she's much closer to Inkling than in the last map. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still got to be careful of them though. They still have killing potential. Oh, oh wicked! Oh uh, yeah. Oh no. Is that it? No, Jumps. Not quite. Oh my goodness. Oh barely. Let's see. Can you read this get up option? Is it gonna be neutral get up? Okay. Yes, it is. Waiting on this brush to come out. Uh, huh, I called it there. He's ever careful though. He's, he's jumping right into materials. And all it takes is one up air, and that Ooh. might do it. I don't know the exact kill threshold for it. For some of I think that was a bait. Nah, uh, what they, uh, what, because it was early. Oh, nice. Okay, that's gonna kill. The first game for Honk. No 6 0s here. Look at that hacking face. Now I pray that Smeagledorf isn't like, oh, got us his characters. Yeah. They definitely just stay. Yeah, no, Vanta, this is uh, Grants for uh, the Buster Bracket. So it is still Grants, but... Make it fun of it, boy. Tight hot. So, while you're here, because it's just us two, basically, have some social links, I guess. <laughs> oh, they bought that on! Oh no! Nightbot's not on. Nightbot, no! Nightbot left. Nightbot left? Yeah, Nightbot, like. A flaky ass bot. Rip. Ah, alright. Going on to game four. Yep. I want to see him take it back at least one game. I want to see if he can keep this momentum going too, because this this is a crushing blow to um, Smeagledorf's like his mindset right now. Of 
because he was on a, he was just steamrolling it before, but now it, it looks like he's being a little more mm -hmm. anticipative. Yeah, Honka's being a little more defensive and doing a fairly good job catching Shugudo's landings. Lots of grabs, throwing right back into his advantage. Nice, good parries. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ooh, I think he's trying to hit platform this pass right there. Yeah. See, he does. Oh, he's going for that two frame a little too late. Now, it does down tilt two frame? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming it does because he's throwing could. it out. It looks like it could, yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, how that's high was the... that? That was at the 120. Yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Really? Yeah. Okay. Right. That's a really high confirm. Mm hmm. Well, I think it's only a like, later percentage that I think it's fairly strict. Huh. Because you know how knockback is changed in this game. Just the triple whiff jab. Oh my goodness. Honk hey, this is damage. found his footing. Ooh. That up air would have been it, but uh. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's partly Smeagol's because missing. Honk is playing a little bit more defensively. He isn't, he isn't doing as much unsafe options as he was in past games. So now Smiggle, Smiggle's forced to try to challenge instead. I mean, this is pretty strong adaption from him, because this is what he needed from the entire last couple of five games. Yeah. His movement's uh, ooh, getting a little ooh, bit more complex oh, here, too. That is it. Like, I don't know if you saw the dashbacks he's been doing, but he's been doing a lot yeah. more, much mm -hmm. more clean movement. Yeah. Uh, like, did you see the, the bear there? Yeah, I did. What is that? What is that? Oh. Huh. What else? Oh, my, my, my. His taunts. They have to know each other. His down throw just kill after a while. Oh, nice. We take those 1.3%. Momentum is basically a full stock up. See, uh, see, I think, I think he just needed that so one win. Better now. I don't know what happened, but he made some sort of drastic adjustment. You got a, doing a couple of empty jumps in there. Uh, but, this, but unlike previous, the previous game, Smeagol isn't trying to challenge him in the air anymore. Honk has complete control of the airwaves. See, so just uh, now he's standing and shielding a little more, which is kind of weird because uh, Honk is doing a lot more grab now. But it's still like he's it's still causing the shield more because uh, now that Honk has aerial control, it's kind of grounded power, which is something. Oh no! Oh, okay. Okay, that's close though. We can hear all the mashing just brief moments before uh -oh. people actually get grabbed on screen. Uh -oh. Ooh! There it is. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's like, good. Like, uh, he's bringing it back. Gaethje's going He's got on. the momentum now. Yo, he was sandbagging on him. <laughs> he was sandbagging. Yeah, he was just sandbagging, sandbagging until on him. Probably just going to go right back somewhere. We're going into game five, though. I'd love to see how... Uh, how Smeagol's going to respond to this. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Mm. Let's see. No, see, he's doing Mario? it. He's doing it. Okay. I'm he's got to have a lot of confidence in this, too, because I'm worried it's 2-2. Two two. By switching Mario, he's going to play more aggressive. And it could work out, but I just don't think that's the kind of mentorship he needs right now. Unless, unless Honestly, Honk is just bad against Mario, maybe. I don't know, but at the same time, I feel like it, it's probably going to be a big enough shift to throw him off. Yeah. The thing is, Wario is not actually that offensive. Uh, Wario plays very defensive, and he just runs away until he has one, because he's got so much horizontal aerial. Yeah, momentum. but once he starts getting in, though, like he got, he had them um, the up air strings, yeah. falling up air to up air to up air to. Yeah, just falling up air to down B. It, yeah. it just that's his thing. And the. Uh, the motorcycle setups are nice too. Yeah. So he actually has some trap options as compared to Palu's maybe like up tilt space. I yeah, don't but know. I feel like Palu has cleaner uh, neutral beam than Mario does. I kind of agree actually. Yeah, her, her aerial spacing is much better. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm surprised he used motorcycles and get off me there. What frame does it come out? I'm curious. It's uh, not it's pretty not fast. fast. It's, not. it's not. No. You can't like <laughs> do that. You could definitely or challenge. Right? Ooh. What was that, a down smash? Oh my oh, god, so grindy. Double. How can I root for him? You know, I don't think I've seen any taunts out of Honk yet. Good. I, I hereby label him the hero of this <laughs> game. 
<laughs> he's, he's the antagonist. He's literally playing the hero England. He's the protagonist. This is the hero of legend, canonically. Carrying the second hit of down smash. One fifty is a. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There we go. Using that fair effectively. Ooh. Don't Not know what could have got off of that, but yeah. I was looking Time for maybe, maybe for down moment. smash. Uh, he's gonna have to put out a slice of move. Like, he's got no ink. He definitely seems out of range for the up throw thing. Maybe he is in range though. Let's see. He's gonna go for it. He needs to be ink though. So he's gonna have to get something. If he can read a jump like uh, uh, Smeagol can read a jump. That was pixels away from getting the, the down B. Or the side B. Now, I don't know if he knows the, the value of that motorcycle on stage. But if he up throws it while at uh, standing get up distance, he gets like a ridiculous amount of coverage out of it. Yeah, uh, so, I, but I that could also when be when used... I fought Ty, like you don't sleep on a motorcycle, it, it can kill you. Yeah, I actually used the motorcycle against Ty. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful thing, it is, especially in conjunction with other tools. But like, let's say he uses the uh, the side B plus the, the motorcycle's coverage on edge is gonna be ridiculous. So I think uh, Smeg's really got to... Smeg keeps... Uh, so one of the advantages of Wario's Nair is that how long the hitbox lasts allows like how allows the cross-up shield easier. So he's throwing out the Nair fairly early, so he's losing that advantage he has. And by timing land, Smeagol's just punishing him. Yeah. Platform pressure is real. Mm -hmm. Okay, quick inking. I was honestly looking for a roller there. Oh. Ooh! Call out. Wonderful call out. Wonderful call out. And then the, the bike animation kind of just held in place for just long enough for that fair connect. Yeah, it, uh. Oh, nice tag. Oh my god. Okay. Proving he's the protagonist. <laughs> he's got to have his anime moment. Ooh. Try to uh, parry right into that four tilt. The death would take him stock. He, you know, I know he's at 130, so he's bound to lose his stock any second. But he's tacking damage. Like, 50's yeah. 50. He's, 50. he's doing way better. Like, now he's, like, um, and if he's he can, spacing his arrows better. He's crossing up shield war, so it's a If lot you can drag harder. this waft out for this kill, that would be perfect. Kind of saving it at this point. I don't know if I'd wait for this. Wait for the very last stop. I mean, the thing is, though, he's at 83 and he's still packing. So, yeah. Like, yeah. He's probably going to get about, yeah, 100. Oh, wait, I just realized he both by stock. Yeah. Oh, no, like, they're not. Is... Honk still got oh, two. Oh, yeah, Honk does still got two. Okay. That's what I was saying. Like, I know he's going to lose this stock any second, but he's hacking damage, and that's basically all he needs to do at this point. I think he almost was in kill range. I don't know. I think he Ooh, delayed okay. on the. Uh, the now run. here's. Oh, come on. Come on, Protag. Taunt to get bodied. <laughs> Taunt to get bodied, yeah. That, that's what happened. That's his mistake. He taunted his Paula, and now he's paying the price for it. And Wario. You saw that. Wah, wah. Yeah. I think his... his 150. His, his neutral aerial game, like his, his spacing and reading off of, like, neutral exchanges in the air, aren't as good as the edge guard. He's definitely taking more stocks off of, like, the, the bears, all that kind of stuff. He's not really, like, trying to catch with the up air. 170. How long can a Wario live? There it is! Oh, there it is! That's it! The true pro tag. That's it! He definitely sandbagged.